All right, so when you get a new fig, you should be like super excited to get home, crack this thing open, fuck with them a little bit, display them with your other figs. But when you already got seven cyborgs, it's really not that exciting. Like this dude's been sitting on my desk for a week. It's because of shit like this, because Marvel, DC, Star Wars, they just keep giving us the same figures over and over and over. It's because of this is why I started doing lines like the Muppets and South Park and Family Guy, Simpsons, The Tick, um, Nightmare for Christmas. Like, I'm not a huge Masters of the Universe fan, but the whole reason why I got that line is because it's almost a new character every time they make one. Like, the, you have so many new characters in that line, it kind of makes it exciting to collect. I mean, I don't know who half of them are, but it's still fun to collect. So let's check out this Icon Cyborg. So I went ahead and pulled out all the cyborgs. Here's his accessories. We'll get into those a little bit later. First off, man, this scale is really starting to bum me out. So the whole reason why I started collecting icons is because I thought it was going to be like a true six inch scale. This is fucking cyborg, okay? He should be at least six and a half, seven inches tall. He's under six inches tall. So that kind of sucks for me. And then we'll go over these cyborgs real quick. Um, this is probably my favorite one right here, big, bulky, like this is Cyborg to me. You can see he's just a little bit, uh, he's right about 7 inches tall. And then you got this one, I think this one might be Mattel or an old DC Collectibles. That one doesn't really do it for me. And then you got the Kid and Play one. I have no clue why I bought this thing, because man, that, that, that sucks, dude, I hate that toy. The icons and this other one, maybe this is the Mattel one. That one's okay. Um, I don't know. I, I don't like that design with the Speedo. Uh, I mean, this one's kind of got it too, but that that's just not a good cyborg. Then this one's okay, no big deal. And then you got this weird one. Um, I bought it just because I thought the big guns were cool. And then I got like the other like smaller ones. Let me see way the fuck up there like all the four inch ones and five inch whatever they are three and three quarter but i'm kind of over that i don't even want to show you those anymore so let's check them out okay here's his left arm i'm probably actually going to use this i just love the the gun arms the cannon arms the laser arms like i think that's just way better like that says cyborg to me this is actually really cool look at the detail on this thing like tons of sculpt work paint is awesome and then you got this engine this thing is really cool too, like it, it plugs in the figure, I'll go ahead and hook that up in a little bit, but tons of detail there. I mean, granted, this was a pretty expensive toy. This is like one of their deluxe ones, so I can't remember how much she was, like 34, 36 bucks or something. And then here's another one that you can plug his hand off or his forearm, put that on, we'll check that out. And this is probably the one that I'm going to use on his right hand, I definitely like that one a lot. And then it also comes with interchangeable, just regular hands, like kind of like an open hand. Um, there's really no point in these because who's going to use these with all these badass cannon arms? And then on this fig, um, they did a great job. Like this icon line, they're really, really good toys. If you just want a less than six inch scale of figures that you already have, I, I highly recommend this line. Um, because there really hasn't been anything new yet. I mean, I'm really looking forward to that static coming out because that'll be like the only new character that they've did so far. But they are nice toys. Like, I wish Marvel Legends were these good because, like, look at this paint job on this thing. Like, this thing actually looks like a really nice, like, dingy metal suit. Like, it's really believable. And um, the articulation on these things are great. Like one thing that Marvel Legends doesn't do or anybody, these hips drop down a little bit so you get more movement out of it. So that's pretty cool. Double knee um, hinge and a pivot on the ankle there. Really nice. It does have an ab crunch, like a, kind of like a double ab crunch. And it turns up here at the top, at the upper torso. The shoulders, ball and socket, bicep swivel, double elbow. 
and then the same wrist you've been getting forever. Heads on a ball. So the articulation is kind of, you know, it's, it's basic icon. Pretty much the only thing that really stands out in articulation is how the hip drops down. That's a nice little touch, and it looks really clean. Like that's a, like a lot of toys are sloppy right here in the crotch area. That isn't the case with this one. All right, this is how I'm gonna display him. Like I think he looks really cool like this. Change the arms out on him. This one has holes for these wires to plug in. Like these things actually come with instructions. So I don't really need to describe anything to you because you open it up and the, the instructions kind of do it for you. I really wish NECA would come with instructions because half the times I get those Predator figures, I don't know where that shit goes. So the thing that sucks about this toy is, um, for one, the scale. And another thing, these black cords, like there's no wire in there. They're just solid plastic. So I tried to like kink it a little bit. I tried to bend it right there for the single set flat. It won't, it just bounces right back. So there he is. I'll do a couple pictures for uh, comparisons and then I'll show you the collection. All right, so fuck the pictures for the comparison because once I pulled these out, I was so disappointed I figured I better do a video. So when you got Firestorm like way taller than Cyborg, that just shit just doesn't work. And then I pulled out the white um, Dr. Doom and you can just see he's just a way bigger toy. So this, the scale on this toy sucks, man. Like it, it total letdown. Um, unless you're planning on getting like every icon figure, this is definitely a pass. All right, so here's the icons collection. It does look pretty good as a set because I only have one of each character and that's all I plan on getting until they start doing those fucked up two packs where I gotta buy another Superman to get a Doomsday. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm a sucker so you know I'm gonna do it. There's the collection, man. I really appreciate all the love and the support on the channel. Thanks for watching.